This video uses Excel and Division. You'll notice that if you've watched the other videos on addition, subtraction, and multiplication, it's very similar. Same basic concept. You'll notice up here at the top we have an icon to print out your work. If you click inside here, you can definitely type in your name. Now, in column A, row 4, or this is called cell A4 as you can see here, we have 20 divided by 4. And in column B, row 4, this is where you place your answer. In column C, row 4, this will check your answer. D, column D is not used. In column E, you'll notice this is another set of questions. In column F, 4 is another place to place your answer. And we have in column of G, row 4, we have the check your answers again. Let's look at the first one to see basically how this works. Okay, so as you well know, hopefully at this point in time, that you could change these to whatever you want. However, 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So I hit the number 5, I place it in cell B4, and hit my enter or my return key. And it says, great job. Now, here we have 3 times uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Great job. 12 divided by 6 is 2, but let's say it's 4. I hit my enter key. Okay, it's not a great job because there's a mistake. How does that work? Okay, now let's go back up to this one. You see it says B4, so this is in cell. See here, B4. Click over here, and you'll notice it says if B4 is equal to 5, or the correct answer, it jumps to the first one It says great job. If it's incorrect, it jumps to the second one, separated by a comma, and says try again. Same thing holds true here. Here we have cell B6, we have the number 9. If I double click on here, you'll say in B6 is equal to 9. Great job. If not, try again. And let's look at this one. In cell B9, we have the number 4. If I click here, it says in B9, the answer should be 2. Great job. If not, try again. Let me hit my escape key. So, I'm going to change this answer to a 2 and hit my enter key. Great job. Now, the same principle applies over here. We are in column B, row 4, or in cell F4, as you can see located up here. It tells you what cell you're in. The answer should be 8 divided by 1 is 8. And if I click on this, checking it in, in column G, it says in F4 is equal to 8. Great job. So, in essence, what you can do is do all these and learn your division, but more importantly, change these questions and answers and have a verification for it. Change the question, the answer, and in here. So, for example, in this first one, if I was going to say 30 divided by 3, the answer is 10, right? So, over here I would double click, and in cell B4, I have to change that to a 10. And in here, if I answer it with a 10, great job. So you can change all of these and have fun learning not only Excel, but you're also learning division. Well, thank you for watching our video.